The other day I was here at the church early as the sun was coming up and man, it was such a good time to reflect on all that has happened in the last year or so with our church. Remember the commitment it took for us all to get this worship center ready? Remember the workday Sundays when we'd come together in our work clothes and have some worship in the CLC and then take off and get the work done? Remember being on the roof of the kids building and hoping it didn't fall through as we were replacing it and one of you actually did? Well, this last year for SEC has been one we'll all remember. But in my view, we are just getting started. We've only been preparing the soil and now it's time for us to be diligent in planting seeds and caring for what and who God sends our way. If you remember, we had goals this past year that, were, that our giving team put in place that we believed would change the culture of giving in our church, and boy, did it. We saw our goal of more than 20 families attend Financial Peace, and to find out what it means to get control of their finances and to get peace back in their lives, peace back in their marriages, and, and peace back in their families. Well, four of those families have become totally debt-free in that process, and I believe there are more to come. And with the national average of around 5 to 6% of churchgoers tithing, that's giving 10% of your income to God's work in the local church. He commands it of us. We saw nearly 30% of our SEC families grab onto that goal and experience God's favor and promises like never before. You see, it's that kind of commitment and faithfulness that affords us the opportunity to carry out the vision of moving into 20 acres of land and seeing lives changed. Well, we united together to provide a playground for our South kids and the many families that God brings our way. And we are close to the final stages to seeing that happen. And we have so much more to celebrate this past year, but now it's time for us all to look forward into 2016 and the part that we're all gonna play in what God brings our way. In the coming weeks, our leadership will be sharing more about what's next for SEC and the commitment it will take to get us there. Stay tuned.